Hi hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Doing something a little bit unusual this morning. Collecting uh, moose droppings from around the longhouse to put into the compost pile. Uh, it's funny because um, I've been building those hugel culture beds um, in a couple of spots. Even the one I started last year actually, I'll continue doing that one um, right beside the cabin. But um, people keep saying um, should build raised beds, which of course I agree with because I uh, suspect that the soil is not great. Although the soil in the garden that I'm doing right now seems to be better. And that's, um, I think I mentioned that the beech trees and oak trees that are in that area are indicative of better soils. The um, It's funny to hear barred owl like that right in the middle of the day. The um, garden that's right by the cabin on the path uh, just above the cabin there. That uh, soil is poor and it's I think the bedrock is like right there so it's very shallow soil and very acidic so it did a <laughs> Callie's probably gonna run looking for that um, that this uh, soil I'm assuming is fairly acidic although it seemed to uh, last year grow grew things pretty well and I see that the rhubarb's up now it's April 28th I think today I expect the garlic to start popping up soon too it's a shame to talk over that dough. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is that fertility is probably an issue and soil is an issue. I'm not going to bring in the soil from outside. I'm going to use what's here on the property. Um, all this leaf matter is compost, but I'm thinking that manure from animals, you know, typically that's a good source of phosphorus and other nutrients. So I'm thinking the moose, deer, and hair which was funny because all on one little spot it had deer moose and uh, uh, snowshoe hair droppings right in one pile so I put that all in the bucket this is the fifth fifth bucket I've collected of this so what's that 12 and a half gallons or something like that um, and I'll keep collecting I've got all kinds of it around here so I'll keep adding that to the compost pile along with uh, the turkey um, uh, some of the turkey skin, the feathers, and the head, and a few, and the guts, the things that I'm not eating, are going into that compost pile. And then all the remains from fish that I catch this spring will go in as well. So with all that compost coming right from nature, um, I, that's going to, I think, provide a lot of nutrients to the garden. It should be pretty successful. So anyway, kind of rambling here. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, um, Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, the, uh, how I'm getting nutrients into the garden, why I can't do a raised garden, because I did that on that one bed, but I've basically stripped all the topsoil off all around, although it seems to go pretty deep. I didn't take it all off. I took off the top matter, all the leaves and everything, and put that in, and then put the soil on top. There were spots that I didn't see a subsoil. I didn't get down to that. So maybe it is pretty deep and pretty decent. Other than the fact that it's full of rocks, as you probably noticed. Um, but, like I said, I'm going to keep trying different ways of increasing the nutrient level on the property. And utilizing that to grow my veg fruits and vegetables this year. And add that to all the wild game that I'm harvesting. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. So I'm going to go back to work. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time. Take care. Tell where the moose have been feeding because they keep breaking off these balsam firs. They end up doing a lot of damage to the property. All the little stuff can't grow up because it gets eaten off as they yeah, chew on it. They grab it and they pull the branches and they just snap it. Actually, there's another one right there. It's mostly maple that they're eating. Oh, that, oh yeah, that's all chewed off just walking through browsing as they go so that's why there's so many droppings all around the property they have been a couple went by the cabin over the last two weeks I would say uh, just based on the tracks I didn't hear or see them but um, mostly they're staying at this side of the property closer to the longhouse since there's all the activity around the cabin they, they've kind of re well they sort of this was always probably 
not always or yes this was always but before we even bought the property when we came and walked it the first time there was a ton of deer and moose droppings all at this end of the property sort of a swamp down here and then all these maple saplings that have been coming up uh, deer and the moose are just browsing the tops off of it but anyway they are spending more time uh, I would say even than they were back then at this end of the property.